your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hut. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. Was standing at the window, peering at the goblins on. Because next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Bran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. I sit here listening, just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? A dawn, Another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the... Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old... Never taken on a pan contract. You should wait here, just in case. This frying pan. Hmm. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Found the pan, have you? Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have you? Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. Take my advice. Don't mention this to the North Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here's for the road. Try up a nice white fish for some. 